Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. Tufts University says students who refuse to leave the encampment on the Medford campus could be suspended or banned from graduation. Tufts president says the group includes outside demonstrators who do not attend the school. They are accused of vandalizing property rented by Tufts and intimidating staff. They say they're now issuing a no trespass order. In video, you'll see only on WBZ a high speed police chase through the North Shore. Police from Danvers, Peabody, Middleton after the man driving that red truck. State police identified him as Joseph Kennedy of Malden. Video shows him weaving in and out of traffic, blowing red lights and driving on the wrong side of the road. At one point, he ditched the truck, took off into the woods. He was captured moments later and taken to the hospital. He is now facing several charges, including operating under the influence. Well, Governor Healy signing a funding bill into law, which includes up to $426 million for the state's emergency shelter system. A new shelter is getting ready to open at the National Guard Armory in Lexington. This will house 55 migrant and homeless families. The state plans to use the location to help families transitioning out of the Melnea Cass shelter in Roxbury. Time now for a check of your next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Jason Michael. Well, I can tell you this, Chris, it's been a little bit bumpy here this week, getting some of the rain showers out of the mix here for the start of the day. And even into the afternoon, we're still being dealing with some pop up showers and even some thunderstorm activity this morning, just mainly dealing with a lot of cloud cover along with some fog as well as some of the rain showers, mainly moving outside of the region right now, but we're still left in its wake. Some pretty multi -layer, layer clouds there. Also getting some clearing back over towards Worcester at this hour. And notice later on this afternoon, we'll take all of this wet weather out of here and we'll start to allow our temperatures to warm up. Widespread 40s, almost at 50 degrees in Norwood at this hour, 46 degrees here in Boston. But look at our temperatures climbing out of the 40s, eventually moving into the mid to upper 50s later on today. But however, it all depends on how much clearing the guys we get back in here. We'll likely be cooler along the uh, Cape and even the islands today because of some of that onshore wind. Our rain chances are going to be all but minimal over the next uh, couple days through the end of the week. But notice on Sunday, a better chance of rain showers return yet again, and that will likely allow for some warmer weather to move back in. So upper 60s to 70 degrees tomorrow, low 60s Friday, Saturday, and even on Sunday as low temperatures maintain their threshold in the mid to low 40s. By Monday and Tuesday, we crank up the mercury again and also dry things out will be around 72 degrees on Monday and mid to low 70s on Tuesday, Chris. All right, Jason, this has been a WBZ News Update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.